Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm making some green chili bacon cheeseburgers on my Yoder flat top, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So what we're starting with is 80-20 ground beef. And I have seen a lot of videos where people make uh, smash burgers. Again, nothing wrong with the way they're making them, but I do it a little bit different. I've seen people take their ground beef just as is, no spices or rubs or anything like that. They put it on their skillet or their flat top and they smash it down. Then they put some rub on the top side of it. Well, to me, the rub creates a nice crust on the top and the bottom side of the patty. So in order to get that, you want to rub the bottom side of the, the uh, patty itself. The only way that you can do that, obviously, if you, if you just put it on the, your, your uh, flat top and smash it down, there's no rub on the bottom. You're just going to have rub on the top. And I like to flavor both sides of my meat. So I am starting with the season everything from Victory Lane Barbecue, just on this uh, aluminum sheet here. Put enough. Okay, just like that. And then I'm applying a nice layer of the beef rub and seasoning as well. Same amount. Just like that. Okay. What I do next is I take my, my meat here and just roll it in the rub. Okay. Make sure you get it nice and coated. Now, the meat is rubbed all the way around. Okay, so neat little trick. Again, if you want to flavor both sides of the meat patty itself, just throw your rub on a cooking sheet like this, and then roll your, roll your meat like this, and get enough of the rub. Perfect. So I'm going to season the rest of these guys, and we'll see you guys outside. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So we are outside of my Yoder flat top, and my griddle. I've got my griddle attachment on my Yoder flat top here. And the first thing that's going to go on is the bacon. Again, this is some thick cut bacon. Now, if it's if the charcoal or if the uh, griddle is, isn't hot enough, you can raise the um, charcoal basket to increase the intensity of the heat. Or if it's too hot, you can lower it. Right now, I've got it at its lowest point. So there we go. We're gonna let the bacon get nice and crispy, and I'll bring it back, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So my bacon is just about ready. I like it nice and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this off. And this was ready in no time, guys. It was probably a minute and a half per side. And it's ready to come off. This thing warmed up really quick. Oh yeah. Nice crispy bacon for the burger. And the next thing I'm gonna do so I'm going to fry up some onions. Now, I am going to use some of the bacon grease. Not all of it. Let me scrape the, the griddle here. Scrape it over to this grease trap here. Just like that. And again, I am going to use some of that bacon grease to fry up my onions. Just like that. All right, I'm going to calm Caramelize these onions, guys. Caramelize these onions, that is. And I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So my onions are just about ready. 
really nice uh, golden brown there as you can see and these were uh, uh, yellow onions so these are a little bit sweeter actually I'm gonna go ahead and take these off now oh they smell amazing these are gonna be so good on that burger all right I'm gonna go grab the burgers and be right back so stay tuned all right, guys, so we're back outside. I've got the burgers here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one right about here. I've got some wax paper. And i got my burger press right here. Just smash it down. Just like that. Let's get another one on there. Ooh, you can already smell the nice rubs. Really smash it down. Just like that. Let's do one more. Beautiful. There you go, guys. So that's going to give a nice crust on the bottom with the rubs. I'll bring you guys back when I fill up them. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So my griddle wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be, so I raised it all the way to the top to get this grill nice and hot, and now we are sizzling. Stay tuned. All right, we are ready to flip these burgers. And let's see what the bottom side looks like. Let's see we got that nice crust we're looking for. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is perfect. Just perfect. And there's Ranger. Oh, beautiful. Just like that. Gonna give this uh, probably a couple more minutes. We'll throw the cheese on, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So it looks like I didn't get the video when I flipped the burgers, but trust me, there was a nice crust on the bottom side here. I just put the cheese on. Then let that melt for probably 30 more seconds. We'll pull them off and uh, we'll assemble the burgers inside, so stay tuned. Alright guys, you guys probably thought I forgot to toast the buns, but no sir, we are toasting these buns. So we're just about ready. We'll go inside and put these burgers together, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back. So the burgers are ready and I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare these. On the bottom side of my burger, I'm just going to put a little bit of mustard. Just like that and on the top side I like a little bit of mayonnaise that's too much just like that perfect and let's assemble this burger so I'm gonna grab my my patty I'm not put a I'm not gonna put any veggies on it if you will I know some people say that onions are veggies, but we'll go with that. I'm going to go with my caramelized onions on top of that. Oh, baby. Of course, our green chili. And I tried some of this earlier, and it is spicy. This is from Hatch, New Mexico. And uh, this is what they call their hot green chili. So you guys know I like it hot, so I'm going to put enough of this green chili. Just like that and the last thing is our bacon nice crispy bacon let's put a couple of these bad boys in there just like that so I'm not gonna cut this or anything guys I'm just gonna bite into it so I'm gonna back the camera up and we'll give it a taste stay tuned all right welcome back so I've got my burgers prepared and the only thing left to do is to give this a monster bite and I gotta tell you this burger looks amazing um, the cheese, the green chili, the the grilled onions, the crispy bacon the toasted bun oh man cheers guys I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything here mmm wow 
You know, there's something about that, a smash burger. It has that diner burger flavor. You got a little bit of smokiness from that charcoal. Oh, the green chili's got some good spice to it as well. Guys, this is a really, really good burger. Give it a shot. That Yoda flat top did an amazing job. The spice or the rub on the burger patty is amazing. Had a nice crust on it. That's got an amazing flavor as well. Mmm. That's a tasty burger. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. Until next time, Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See you guys.